Okay, we're going to do another ultrasound, and um, this is an example of someone who's 50 years old and was not feeling very well and went to their primary care doctor and on routine labs was found to have an elevated calcium. From there, the primary care physician recommended evaluation with an endocrinologist and indeed she was found to have a high PTH and a high serum calcium and then there was, she was sent here for further evaluation. So we're going to do her neck ultrasound and see if we can lo localize an adenoma. Now biochemically, we already know she has primary hyperparathyroidism. We have an indication for surgery, and now we're just going to try to localize it before we operate tomorrow. Okay. So usually I start the ultrasounds by first finding the trachea, which is this dark structure here. You can't really see behind it. The sound waves don't go behind the trachea. And this is the bridge of the thyroid called the isthmus. I usually start my ultrasounds on the, on the patient's right side. And uh, this looks like a pretty normal looking thyroid and I don't see anything suspicious for a parathyroid on the right. This is the thyroid here, pretty normal looking. I'll show you an example of what the carotid uh, looks like. It's this bounding red structure right here. Okay, and I'm just going to sweep up and down, up and down. I don't see anything really wrong with the thyroid. Looking down here a little lower, I don't see anything here that would suggest a parathyroid adenoma. I usually turn the, to the side here, and we're looking at the thyroid, which is right here. The structure we're looking at it on the side, here's the tracheal rings right here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, sp the spine is right here. And we're just going to go up and down, and there's the edge of the thyroid. And again, I don't see anything that would suggest an adenoma uh, at this time. Thyroid looks clean. Okay. So let's take a look at the other side now. Just, gonna just crank your neck back. All right, we'll start with the thyroid. Again, the thyroid looks pretty normal here. And then just below that, you start to see this little dark structure right here. Okay, it's just inside that carotid artery. I'll show you the carotid artery right there. And right next to it, this is very suspicious for a parathyroid adenoma. Okay, this would be a left inferior parathyroid adenoma. Now when I turn it on its side, oh, it's a beauty. You can see very clearly this solid lesion, okay? A hypo, it's a hyperechoic lesion with a hyperechoic rim. And you can see on the side, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to freeze this to show you right there. Okay, so there's the edge of the thyroid right here. These are the muscles of the neck. And this right here is actually the spine. And this dark structure is the adenoma that we will take out tomorrow. So I'll measure it on its side to show you how big it is. And it's almost two centimeters in size. When I turn it now the other direction, it's kind of narrow, but we'll measure it anyway. Okay, and it measures about 0.64 centimeters by 1.12 centimeters. So um, again, this is a pretty good size. Usually parathyroid glands Normal ones you can't see. Normal parathyroid glands are about the size of a dried lentil bean, uh, and this is considerably bigger. Uh, this is uh, the size of a, uh, of a large grape, and uh, we will remove this tomorrow.